Yes, you too can own the Lawn Striper 2000. Exclusively from Ronco. But wait, if you order now, just pay an additional processing fee and you'll get two Lawn Striper 2000s. <laughs> I know, I'm an idiot. We're just gonna talk lawn stripes today. It's so simple, people. So, what are those? Are those wild persimmons? Anybody ask what you they taste like? They taste like shit. <laughs> they are horrible bitter. I know, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna talk about lawn stripes for a minute. And it seems like everyone is always posting videos about lawn stripes. Any idiot can do it. Lawn stripes are for pussies anyways. <laughs> That's why we say it. <laughs> Look, lawn stripes are simple. It's the way that the sun reflects and refracts off the blades of grass. So if it's laying one way, it looks one color. If it lays the other way, it looks a different color. And so all you have to do is get your grass to evenly lay down uh, while you're mowing. And I'll show you a simple little method. Now, do not replicate what I'm doing because what I'm doing is just for fun. It's redneck, it's dangerous. Don't do this at home. <laughs> but you can use this sort of idea or concept to put a, a, a kind of a light drag behind your mower. So before I start, number one, the Bermuda grass, my Bermuda lawn really has come back to life. It's amazing. We've had four or five days in the 80s. We put down PGF balance, which is what you guys should be putting down for warm season. And it's just solid. It's absolutely gorgeous. We get light stripes on this. Remember, Bermuda is very, very short and very, very tight. It doesn't lay down when you cut it. So you don't get, you get very mild stripes. However, when you're talking something like a cool season lawn where the grass is two and a half to four inches tall, it is very fine. It just, you, your footsteps cause these huge impressions and I'll talk about that in a minute. So today I'm packing up for the beach house. Um, we're getting ready to go down for about a week, my son and I. We're going to do a whole series of landscaping and lawn work and renovation, meeting with the architect, the general contractor, a whole bunch of stuff. So that's coming up. Um, and I have a special mower, which did not come in, by the way. So I'll show that at the beach house. Um, I ran over and grabbed Barb's mower. <laughs> Poor thing. It's a Troy built. She doesn't take care of it. I had to sharpen the blades. I so uh, let me just show you real quick what I'm doing. You'll get the concept of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this cutting on video for you. But just so you're aware, um, my as is drawings are in from the architect. Let me show you the structural ones, which are cool. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll probably have the ones with the modifications. We're gonna redefine this whole structure. It's gonna be really cool. We're gonna redo the inside. There's a ton of work to do, so click subscribe. You don't want to miss that. I went over and borrowed Barb's Troy Built. Um, it's not a bad unit. It's just, it just has this auto choke system on it, which is a piece of crap. I hate that auto choke. Um, so what I did, so you know you have this little flap usually down here. So I just took a like a, a furry doormat and cut it, and then just put some Gorilla Tape on here just to make it drag. Um, but understand I've got this wheel width, so it's not cutting width. I actually made this wheel width. So I wanted it even with my wheels or even a tiny bit wider so that when I push this thing, it actually, it actually lays down the grass in the direction that I want. Obviously, if I try and go backwards with this thing, I'm gonna have a big problem. So do not do this <laughs> like this at home. Um, it's very dangerous, but I'm just doing it to show you how to get stripes. I'll cut the lawn today. Don't forget on this, if you have a cool season lawn, you should be putting down PGF complete, which is a 1648. That's what we're putting down here and Humachar. Bermuda PGF balance, which is a 10, 10, 10. Your lawn's getting ready to go to sleep. Um, plus Humachar, we'll be doing Humachar all the way through um, all the way through the winter months. So let's cut and see what happens. Now, one side note is <laughs> this is a dwarf, this is a dwarf kind of hybrid annual ryegrass. It's very fine, so it's real hard to cut. 
very high moisture content and your footprints you sort of if you have to I'm, you'll see in the video i'm walking off to the side of the mower so that i don't leave footprints um because the footprints will stay there all day in this stuff it's just so fine so before can't take this anymore cause i've been looking for something to change thoughts into motion been waiting way too long oh, yeah waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me and to handle my emotions i was out waiting for something Close my eyes, it's all been a waste of time. I was out driving. So, as you can see, the lawn strap of 2000 from Runco worked really well. <laughs> this is not safe, by the way. <laughs> do not do this at home. But you can come up with some kind of system that's safe and permanent. I mean, if I were trying to back up, that thing would flip back under. It's, it's not a safe way to do this. This was just for demonstration purposes. I wanted to show you how easy it is to stripe just once you know what you're doing. That's one pass. That's it. One pass. I'm not going over it again and again and again just by manipulating the blade angle. I really should be cutting the putting green right now. But, uh, priorities. So this is it's my line station for my fishing rod, but I got to fill it up with some 65 pound spider wire. Uh, the reason is, is we go down, down this area this time of year, we've got a lot of big redfish, channel bass, redfish, whoever we call them, they're running this year. It's that big spawning fish. Um, and we'll catch a lot of them in the... 10 to 40 or 50 pound range matter of fact let me put up a picture my son caught one four weeks ago when we were down at the beach house um put up a picture of his and then maybe i'll throw up a picture of one that i caught last year or two years ago they're just they're monsters they can get really big so uh i gotta get this reel ready to rod ready too as a backup not as a primer so that's what I'm doing right now. All right, so I gotta cut the green. I don't have a choice. Okay, so we're finally looking like a putting green. <laughs> now we're getting nice and full and smooth. See what I'm talking about? Look at that. Isn't that great looking? Oh, that's just beautiful, my pretty. 
That's just great looking stuff there. Gorgeous. So anyways, guys, remember if you want lawn stripes, just remember the basic theory. Grass blade, grass blade, grass blade. That's how it works. Anyways, uh, I'll probably take a break for a couple days on the videos. Tomorrow is packing day, and then we got to take off, so we got a lot of stuff to do. So I plan to be shooting and editing, actually, at the beach some. So uh, I'll try and keep in touch, and we'll post some stuff up. Click subscribe, and talk to you later. Die.